alaikum dear viewers and welcome to our Learn Arabic show. Now in our previous sessions we have been doing about verbs, fi'lun we have been doing it in the past tense. So we have completed the pronouns ana, nahnu, hiya, huwa, anta, anti and antuma and huma. Now for today we'll be focusing on another new pronoun and that is we'll be starting with the pronoun whom. And you all know what whom means, right? Whom means they, three, or more uh, masculine. They, three, or more masculine. Right, so we'll be discussing about whom in the past tense format. Now, when it comes to whom, so for example, my root verb. So if I have the root verb, my root verb say as kataba, right? So if I have my root verb as kataba, now kataba means he wrote, and that is my root verb, right? Now I want to change this into whom, right? I want to say they three or more masculine uh, wrote. So how will I say? So I will add to this word here, I'm going to add a wow sukun, wow with a justive sign with an alif at the end. Remember when we were doing about the long vowels, we said that this is also a type of a long vowel and I told you that it will, you will also come across this in the Quran, you know, where they say katabu or qara'u. So if I add this to the root verb, it's going to change into katabu. So I will have whom, whom what, whom katabu, right? So that is going to be my sentence. Whom katabu means they three or more masculine wrote. Right, so we'll be looking at more further examples so that you understand. Right, so I'm going to be listing down a few root verbs here and then you can try to convert it into whom, of course, by adding a wow and an alif to the words. So say I have hadara. as my root verb. So I have hadara, I have um, dhahaba, I have nadara, I have akala. Okay, say so I have hajja. Right, now I want to convert these root verbs into whom, past tense, right? So I want to convert this into whom, past tense. So let's say if I have hadara, what am I going to do to the word? I'm going to add an wow and a leaf, right? So it's going to change into the habu. So I have whom. Whom the habu. I hope you know all the meanings of this because we had done this in our previous session. All I had translated it for you, right? Say I have nadara. Okay, same thing. I will add a wow sukun and an alif. So nadara again becomes nadaru. Same with this one. Wow sukun and alif becomes akalu. And hajja, hajja for this there is no special case. You're going to, it's going to follow the same trend, right? So I'm going to have a wow sakin and an alif. So I'll have hajju. Right. So this is how the verbs are going to follow the tense using the pronoun whom, right? So I can say whom hadaru. Whom dhahabu, whom nadaru, okay? Whom hadaru means they went, they, three or more masculine, went. Whom dhahabu, okay? Whom hadaru, they came. Whom dhahabu, they went. Whom nadaru, they saw. Whom akalu, they ate. And whom hajju, they, three or more masculine, performed hajj. So this is how the whom is going to take um, the tenses accordingly. Now we will move on to another pronoun. And that other pronoun we have is antum. And uh, from our previous sessions, you all know what antum means. So if I say antum, I'm referring to 
a second person and I'm referring to you, three or more masculine. So if I have antum, means um, you, three or more masculine. So let's look at the root verbs. And then I have my uh, pronoun as antum. Right, I have antum, which means you, three or more uh, masculine. So this is how I'm going to try and form them. Now, say I have the same verbs, I will be listing them. Let's say I have qala. Let's say I have qama. Let's say I have um, jalasa. Nadara. Samia. Basara. Right? So I want to change this he. Now this is all of course in the huwa past tense, right? Qala, he said. Qama, he stood. Jalasa, he sat. Nadara, he saw. Samia, he heard. Basara is also another synonym for he saw, right? Now I'm going to change this into antum, meaning you all, you masculine saw, right? Masculine I'm referring to, is it, am I referring to singular? No. Am I referring to mu'anna? No, I'm referring to mudhakkar. I'm referring to you, three or more masculine, which is antum. So if I want to change this qala, qala of course, if I want to say I said, it becomes qultu. If I want to say uh, you female said, qulti, anti, qulti, ana, qultu, huwa, qala. And what about antum? Antum becomes qultum, right? So what I'm going to do to these verbs is I'm going to add ta. Uh, with an accusate, uh, with a sorry, nominative and a meme, justive. So at the end of all these verbs here, all these root verbs, I'm going to add this at the end. I'm going to add a ta with a meme. So qala, if I add a ta and a meme there, what does it become? It becomes qultum, right? So I have qultum. I have added the ta and the meme at the end. Same with this verb, qama. I add ta, meme at the end, it becomes qumtum. Same with jalasa. Jalasa, I add ta and meme at the end, becomes jalastum. Jalastum, same with nadara, okay? I add a ta and meme at the end, becomes nadartum. Same with uh, samia, okay? I add a ta and meme at the end, samirtum. Okay, same with basara, okay? I add a ta and meme at the end. Basartum. So this is how all the um, pronouns are going to take their form. And you might ask about about hajja. Okay. <clears throat> Hajatum. Hajja becomes hajatum. So this is how the pronouns are going to take their course. <clears throat> so I have huwa qala. Hiya qalat. Okay. Uh, hum qalu. Right. Antum right so this is how it's going to take its strength now I want to um, go for a revision on the other pronouns that we had done in the previous session um, just to know how much you have understood so let's look at the previous pronouns this is just sort of a revision on what we did on our previous sessions right now say I have I'm going to list down the pronouns that we have already worked out with so say I have Anna we started off with huwa because huwa obviously is the root verb. <clears throat> so we have huwa, we have hiya, we have ana, we have nahnu, nahnu, we have anta, we have anti, we 
okay we have antuma and of course huma i'll list them down right so i'll say my root verb my root verb say it is um samia okay i want my root verb to be samia right so i want to change this samia and i want to fit them up all here with the appropriate pronouns now hua if i want to say hua samia meaning he heard hua samia so it's going to be samia right so hua will be the same why the same because i said the root verb will always carry the hua past tense root verb is always the hua past tense what about here what am i going to do for here i will add a ta ut ta nif ta ut ta nif is the ta which represents the muannath and of course it carries a adjective right so here becomes uh, samiat so here i have added the ta ut ta nif samiat ana ana becomes i will add a ta with a nominative so it becomes samirtu right what about nahnu nahnu will become samirna what about anta anta becomes samirta right anti becomes samirti right so i've just added this ta put that here anti samirti So I've added the ta there. Then antuma samirtuma. So again, I've added that at the end. So I have samirtuma. Right. So who was samir? He heard. He has samirat. She heard. Ana samirtu. I heard. Nahnu samirna. We heard. Anta samirta. You male singular heard. Anti samirti, you female singular heard. Antuma samirtuma, you too male plus female heard. So this is how the pronouns will take their course. Then we moved on to huma. So let's look at huma. How will huma take the format? Right. So in our previous session, when we talked about huma. we said that will it carry the same uh, tense format for both masculine and feminine because we looked at antuma and we saw that antuma carries the same format for masculine and for feminine i can say antuma jalastuma i could be saying you two female set i could be even saying if i say jalastuma i can also mean you two masculine set right it's going to be the same tense for antuma for both muannath and mudhakkar but then huma Huma means they too, right? Huma means they too, masculine plus feminine. Okay? So I have huma. And huma means what? They too. They too masculine plus feminine. But then I had told you in the previous session if you remember that the tenses for huma will be different. For masculine it will be different. for feminine it will change it will not remain the same so but if i say if i just say huma i'm referring to they to masculine plus feminine but when it comes to converting using this pronoun and applying it into tenses the tenses will be different for masculine and for feminine so first i'll start with the uh, masculine so they to masculine right because obviously the tenses will be different so they to masculine will be sami uh, to be sami a uh. so what have i done to this word here i have added an alif at the end you notice that huma also ends with an alif at the end huma ends with an alif at the end and i have done the same thing to the tense sami a uh, ends with an alif at the end so what do i mean if i say sami a uh, it means they do masculine heard but what if i want to uh, refer to feminine so huma Huma, they too, feminine. I want to now um, refer to the feminine case. They too, feminine heard. So what am I going to do to the root verb samira? I'm going to add a ta 
joined to an alif with an accusative, right? So it becomes samirta. Samirta. So if I say samirta, I'm referring to they two female herd. If I say samira, I'm referring to they two masculine herd. But what if I say um, samirtuma? If I just say samirtuma, I'm referring to both masculine and feminine. Antuma, samirtuma. I can say um, samirtuma waladan. Okay, uh, the boys, her, you two boys heard. I can say samirtuma bintan. Okay, you two girls heard because for antuma it is the same. The, uh, the tenses remain the same for both masculine and feminine. However, for huma, they change. They do not remain um, the same. Then in our today's session, we looked at home, right? We looked at home. And what did we say about home? What did we say about home? We said that home is obviously going to become something like jalasu or samiru. So I'm going to add a wow and alif at the end, right? So it's I'm going to have something like I'm going to have something like samiru. So what have I done to this word? I have added a wow and alif at the end. And of course, home means they uh, masculine, three or more. I'm referring to three or more. Okay, huma is for dual. Right, um, so this sums up our class for today. Inshallah, we shall be continuing with our next um, session. We'll be continuing with the other pronouns that we have not covered up with, finishing off with the tenses. Um, then we will go to um, how to apply these pronouns and uh, these verbs into making simple sentences, right? So for now, وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Thanks for watching. سَنَلْتَقِي غَدًا